All right, um, so we're going to get started in a child's pose, and you can start the music right away. There's plenty of music. Take a lot. And so finding your child's pose, and make sure it feels kind of well supported. It might be really nice to um, place a blanket underneath your knees. It might be nice to place a block underneath your forehead, even, perhaps. And just take a couple of moments to um, just to get here, <laughs> to get to your practice. So you really notice your arms nice and heavy, shoulders relaxed. And your hips nice and heavy back towards your heels. Hello. <sighs> good. Just spending maybe like a good two minutes or so in this child's pose, maybe even a little longer <laughs> if it suits us. And really letting your head sink down to whatever's underneath it. And you might decide to rock your head from side to side. And it's been kind of like a hell of a year, huh? <laughs> and maybe thinking about releasing some of the tension up in your forehead. And releasing some of the tension at the base of the skull. And allowing your breath to be whatever size and shape it is right now without any need to force or adjust anything at the moment. Right, just a little bit of breathing room here for you. And check in with your jaw, check in with the inside and outside corners of your eyes. And then let sounds come to you. What do you notice? And the sound of your breathing maybe, or the ambient sounds of your neighborhood or the folks you live with. And just taking it in and placing yourself right here. And just in your body on this day. And just a few more deep breaths. Good. And then from here, just slowly start to roll yourself up. We're going to find a seated position. Move one of your feet in front of the other. Good. And let's just make some figure eights with our wrists. <laughs> We're gonna do a little bit of um, plank stuff today. So if you, um, if you have any kind of wrist weirdness, <laughs> if they're painful, if they're uncomfortable, you can always practice any of these planks on your forearms, that's fine too. But just waking up those wrists, waking up those fingers. Take those figure eights in the opposite direction. Good, and then go ahead and just set your hands down on your knees. And let's roll the head just a tiny little bit here. Chin towards the chest, ear towards the shoulder. Good, and then let's come back through to the center. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up. 
Good. Feel your sitting bones nice and heavy on the floor. Great. And then take that left hand down and we'll just reach that right arm up and over and take your right hand to the left side of your head, lifting that elbow up nice and high. And let's come on out of it and just kind of move right to the other side. So the right hand comes down, left hand grabs a hold of the right side of the head. Yeah, lift that left elbow up. Good. Feel the left sitting bone press down. Good. And then come on back through to the center, your hands on your knees. And we're just going to take some circles here. Good. So as you roll yourself around in these circles, you're just going to notice how things are feeling your back, your hips, your knees, your shoulders. And try to find some fluidity in your joints. So even maybe dropping the head down as you come forward, maybe the elbows and the shoulders really get into this. <sighs> Notice your breathing again. And a couple more circles in this direction. Good, and then just come right back up to the center. We're gonna bring the toes down to the floor. And then your fingertips can come onto the back of the thighs and just creating this like zigzag shape in your body, like a little pre-boat. Good, broaden your collarbones. Good, feel the belly and the mid-back engage. Good, a deep breath in. And then we're just going to take the cross in the other direction and take the circles in the other direction. So if you can't remember which direction you just went or which foot was in front, that's fine. But just think about doing the more awkward thing here because you probably chose the easier side first. I mean, the side that felt more natural. And so just kind of moving yourself around here. And noticing the belly and the back, shoulders, head and neck. Mm, just a few more breaths. Good. And then bring yourself back to upright. Let's take that little free boat shape again, toes down. So you might take your arms out in front of you or even reach them up and overhead with the toes connected. Really thinking about engagement here and this lift. And a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Great. And then let's take our uh, hands and knees down to the mat. You're going to wiggle around a little bit in some cats and some cows. Good, really let that belly drop down. And maybe these are more intuitive wiggles or maybe it's you know pretty straightforward. Good, take special notice of your hands and your wrists. Good, another breath or two. Right, and then let's reach that left hand up towards the ceiling, right hand stays down, and we'll thread the needle. Perfect. One more breath. All right. right hand comes down. Lift that left arm up. Good. And then go ahead and set that left hand down on the mat. We're just going to turn the right fingertips around. So keeping those left fingertips forward. If the right hand doesn't want to turn all the way, it can be out to the side. And then just take a couple of gentle cats and cows like this. 
See if you can keep your jaw relaxed as you do it. Good, and coming back to neutral. Let's send that right hand up towards the ceiling. Slide that right arm underneath, thread the needle. Let your head drop down. And maybe like five breaths here. Perfect, let's take that left hand back down, press into it, raise the right arm up, stretch it high. Good. And then take your right hand down and we'll turn the left fingertips around or off to the side. Good, and just take those few cats and cows here. Remember to breathe. Good, and then come back through. And let's take the thumbs and wrap the fingers around the thumbs like a fist. We're just gonna press the knuckles into the ground. Really round the back here. Good, and then we'll make our way out into a puppy pose. Hips above the knees, arms nice and long. Perfect. So from your puppy pose, keep your elbows plugged into the floor. You're going to interlace your fingers in front of you and then just tuck your toes underneath and shift up into a high plank or sorry, a forearm plank. And hanging onto this just for like a breath or two. And then we'll set the hips down to a sphinx pose. Good. And here are your sphinx. It might again be nice to roll the head around a little bit. Good, last breath here. Good, and then go ahead and set yourself all the way down. Stretch the arms out, full pranam. Let the body be nice and heavy on the floor. Mm, nice. Take your hands under your shoulders. Press it back into child's pose. Good. And breathe here. Just hanging out for, I don't know, good five to seven breaths. And notice the way it feels in your low back. And notice the tops of your feet. Good. And, and from your child's pose, go ahead and shift yourself back out onto hands and knees. Good. We're going to tuck the toes underneath, lift the knees up just a little tiny bit. <laughs> And finding this like lifted tabletop, this kind of pre-plank. And if you need to pull the palms away from the ground, that's fine. That's fine. Take a big breath. And then shift it on back into downward facing dog and take a little bit of time to move things around. And then drop your head down. <sighs> Good. And see if you can feel each one of your fingers and each one of your toes. We'll be here for another 
chunk of breaths. Good, a big breath in and a big breath out. Good, inhale, raise your right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, set that right foot down in between your hands. And we're gonna shift back into a runner stretch. So your hips can be up above that left knee. Or if you wanna sit all the way back down onto like a block underneath your right glute, you could do that too. You can stay lifted or you can fold yourself forward. Good, a couple more breaths here. Mm, wonderful, and then very slowly, start to bring yourself back into this sort of low lunge thing. Your left hand will stay down, maybe it's on a block, and your right hand will come on top of your knee. And just a little gentle twist over to the right. And noticing the left hip point. Good, and then we'll take that right hand down, get rid of the block, step it on back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, roll forward into high plank pose. Hold on to this for a moment. And then take it right back into downward dog, drop the head down. Good, inhale, raise the left leg up and back behind. Exhale, step that left foot forward. I'm gonna drop that right knee down and just find your runner stretch. So maybe that the hip stays lifted. Maybe you're coming all the way back and down. Good, and just sort of take notice of that left leg. Good, folding forward. Good, another breath. And start to walk yourself forward again, bending that left knee. Maybe your hand is, right hand is on a block. Left hand on the left knee, a little twist. Good, let's take that left hand down, move the block out of the way. Shift it on back, downward dog. And inhale, come forward, high plank. And then lower down onto your forearms, forearm plank. Good, drop the knees, the hips, sphinx pose. And then go ahead and set yourself all the way down, finding your full pronoun. Couple big breaths. Nice, slide the hands back under the shoulders, make your way back into child's pose. Good, from here, bring yourself back up onto hands and knees, pick up the knees just a little bit. And you might like kind of move around here. You might move in a circle, you might spring forward and backward. And noticing the way the muscles of the belly are working. Then shift it on back, downward facing dog. And inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Good, that left foot's gonna be bent. Fold forward. And bend the knees slowly, roll all the way up to standing, reach your arms high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, another breath or two here. Feel your feet on the floor. And inhale, arms reach up, look up. Exhale, dive forward over two long legs. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant the palms and step back to either your high plank or forearm plank, depending on your wrists. Good, and drop your heels to the right, hanging here for a second. Good, almost a side plank. Good, come back through to the center. And your choice of a flow, you might take like a chaturanga, an upper dog, etc. You might shift back into child's pose. Good, a few breaths wherever you end up. Good, once you make it back into downward facing dog, drop the head down, might stick out the tongue. Good, soften those eyes. Good, inhale, raise that left leg up and back behind you. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Good, and then the right foot's gonna meet the left foot. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands come down to the heart, stacking one on top of the other. Good, standing here just for a moment. You're noticing your sense of steadiness or your natural wobble. Good, inhale, raise those arms overhead, look up. Exhale, dive forward over two long legs. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms down, take it back to high plank pose. And so maybe this is coming down to forearms. This could be your side plank, dropping your heels off to the left here. Good, yeah, really feeling the left side of the body hold you up. Beautiful, when you are ready, come back through to the center and then just move yourself through whatever flow you wanna take this evening. Nice, ending back up and downward dog after a little bit. Nice. Mm, good, from here, inhale, raise that right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. The left foot's gonna meet it. Lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, come all the way up, reach nice and high. Maybe it's a little baby back bend here. Good, exhale, bring your hands down to your heart and just stand there for a moment. Feet on the floor. Mm, good, inhale, raise the arms back up, look up. Exhale, sit down into a chair pose. Good, in your chair pose, your feet can be as far apart as they need to be or maybe they're touching. Good, and take a little bit of like side bend over to the left and over to the right with your upper body. So it's just so small, just a little something. And exhale, fold forward. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, take it back, high plank. And then dropping your heels off to the right. Maybe that left hand lifts up or a little tree leg here. And eventually you'll come back through to the center and make your way through your flow. And maybe finding a moment in child's pose, especially if you were doing some kind of plank situation, <laughs> side plank activity. Good, a few big breaths. Good. And when you are ready, find your downward dog again. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, and as you get back to the downward dog, inhale, raise your left leg up and back behind you. Hold it up for a second. <laughs> Good, and then step the left foot forward. Right foot's gonna meet it. <laughs> inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then take your hands behind your back. You might interlace your fingers, press your knuckles up towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I turn the head side to side. And go ahead and release the arms, come all the way up, reach nice and high. 
Good, sit down in chair pose. And in this chair pose, you might take those little twists, reaching one arm back and then the other arm back. Good, moving back and forth to sit your own pace. Good, one more breath like this. And then go ahead and fold yourself forward, drop the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank pose, and same thing. So it could be a side plank, dropping the heels to the left. Maybe that right hand reaches up. Maybe the right foot comes to the inside line of the left leg. Know when you're done, <laughs> when you are, come back here to the center and find your flow through. Kind of landing in child's pose if you wish, or downward dog if it works for you. And I just want to open up a little bit of time for free flowing. <laughs> so maybe like the next few minutes just to do the thing, <laughs> whatever that might be. Um, maybe you want to take it like a really traditional series of flows moving quickly. Maybe you want to throw in some standing poses that you really love and enjoy. Maybe you just want to sit down and like drink some tea or water. <laughs> the choice is yours. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Good. So moving in the ways that you want to move or just being still, whatever works. Okay, only you know what your body has been through. Okay, and only you know what it needs. Mm, just giving yourself your very best. Nice. Mm, beautiful, everybody. Maybe like another two minutes. <laughs> I'm just doing your thing. I love the variety of fun things I'm seeing happening right now. <laughs> awesome, everyone. Good, maybe another five breaths. And when you're done, you'll let me know by coming into a standing forward fold, I guess. It's probably where we'll go with this next. Good, and eventually in your standing forward fold, just let your head be heavy. You might take your hands and even like press them into the backs of your legs, your fingers kind of digging in there. You might squeeze all the way around your legs if that feels like a thing for you. You might squeeze your hips a little bit, break your fingers along your lower back. <sighs> Good. And then very slowly start to come up to standing. We're going to take our hands on our hips and let's just practice our figure eights with our hips. <laughs> Actually, you can have your arms alongside you too if that feels more natural. 
And you're just going to take one hip point forward and then the other hip point forward. Good. And just taking this figure eight shape with your pelvis. We'll spend about a minute going in one direction and then we'll change directions. Here you notice what your shoulders want to do. Sometimes when I do this, I recognize that my shoulders are like so clenched. See if you can maybe like move your shoulders, move your elbows. Move your eyes, let your eyes travel around the room. Good, and then we're gonna change directions. And you notice how that feels. <laughs> Good, a few more breaths. And then come back to center and bring your hands into your lower belly and just kind of stand here for a moment. Good, and this little bit of stillness. Mm, good, as you inhale, raise your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, take a chair pose, and we're going to take that right elbow to your left knee, a little twisted chair, perhaps. Good. Breathing here. Notice your knees. Good. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Take a little wiggle with your arms. Good. Let your head be so heavy. And slowly inhale, slide your fingers up the fronts of your legs. Good. Reach those arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Good. And then hands to the lower back, standing camel pose. Good. The head might drop back here. Okay, coming back to neutral, reach the left hand up. <laughs> And then we're gonna sit down in chair pose, taking your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, or maybe the inside of your left knee if that feels better. Good, breathe here for a few moments. And then come on back through to the center, forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Take it back and through your flow at your own pace. Any old flow. Hmm. Good. Okay, breathe in, raise your right leg up and back behind you. And then exhale, just kind of bring your right knee over to your left elbow in a high plank. It's like a little bit of a twist. Hold yourself here for a second. And then take that right leg on up and back and open up through the hip. Good, and pick up your head. Look over your left shoulder for your right foot. <laughs> back there somewhere. Good, step your right foot forward. Good, and we're gonna bring ourselves into a pyramid pose. So hop that left foot in just about halfway and let your chest drop down over that right thigh. Good, your hands might be on a block, maybe down on your foot, or even wrapped around both of your legs. Yeah, I see that balance going on, nice. Uh, just a couple more breaths here in Pyramid. And very slowly start to stand up, keeping your feet just as they are, really press into the mat. Exhale, take your hands down. And you might grab a hold of your elbows behind you or uh, maybe even a reverse prayer if you want to do that. Good. Inhale, picking up the heart. Exhale, fold forward one more time over that right leg. Good. If your hands are behind you, go ahead and drop them down to the ground. We're just going to pivot the toes over to the left and come into a wide angle and fold in here. Good. 
And the left hand stays down underneath your face. Right arm reaches up. Take your twist. Good. And then circle that right hand down. Let's walk both hands all the way around to frame the left foot. And we're going to shift ourselves into a half moon pose. So reaching that right leg up and back. Your hand can be on your hip or maybe fingers reaching up towards the ceiling. Yeah, just taking a moment here. Good, and then from here, turn that right hip so it points down. Step the right foot about halfway back. Find your pyramid pose. Good, framing the left foot with your hands. Good, maybe you're taking that bind around both of your legs. Good. And then go ahead and release those hands if they're bound. We'll press into the feet. Sweep those arms up and overhead. Look up. And then take your hands back behind you. Maybe grabbing those elbows or your fingers or your palms might meet behind your back and fold yourself in again. Good. Slowly release those hands. If you took your block with you before, swing it back around. We're going to come back into that wide angle, just heel toeing the feet out. Fold into it at first. Good. And then from here, we'll take our twist. So right hand stays down. Let's raise that left hand up. Yeah. And you might even want to take your left hand out into your lower back. Good. That left hand comes down now. And we'll walk both hands back around to the top of the mat. Bring your right foot with the left leg high. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Good. Think about using the right side of your belly to hold you up. And the left side, or the left inner thigh, perfect. And slowly start to drop that left foot down, fold in. And give yourself a little wiggle. And breathe in, lift up halfway. And then just make your way through your flow at your own pace, whatever flow you want. You get some cats and cows. Maybe it's a whole chaturanga, whatever works. Hmm, I forgot about the twisted plank, so we're gonna have to do that now. <laughs> Suck the toes underneath, downward dog. Yeah, and then inhale, lift that left leg up and back. Let's bring the left knee over to the right elbow and just hover here for a moment. Good, inhale. That left leg goes up and back, open through the hip. Pick up your head, look over your right shoulder. Good, and then set that right foot down. We're gonna drop down to the knees. Let's take a little camel pose. Good, pressing those hips forward, broaden the collarbones, head drops back. Nice. From there, slow movement out to your child's pose. Mm, couple breaths, shoulders at ease. All right, from your downward facing dog. Just take a moment to extend that right leg up and back. Hold it nice and high, open through the hip here. If you like to flip your dog around, you're welcome to do such a thing, <laughs> dropping that right foot down to the ground behind you. Good. And when you are ready, if you've gone there, you can come on back around. We are all gonna take our right knee over to our left elbow again, into that twisted high plank kind of situation. 
Nice. Send the right leg up and back behind you. Perfect. And then let's step that right foot in between the hands of the top of the mat. We're gonna hop the left foot in about halfway. And just get set up for your twisted triangle pose. So revolve triangle, your left hand's gonna stay down on your block or something like that. Good. And then right hand might come to the lower back. Maybe it reaches up here. But thinking about pressing down with your right big toe and back with your left heel to keep you pretty balanced in the lower body. Good, reach that right arm out past your head. Good, drop the right hand down and soften that knee just a little bit. I'm gonna walk both hands forward, raise the right leg, or sorry, left leg up, standing split. Good, tap the left knee behind the right and slowly lower yourself down to a seated position. Good, sitting up nice and tall here. Good, and then you can either wrap your left arm around your right knee or hook that left elbow on the top of your right knee for a twist. Good, and slowly come on out of this. I'm gonna take a little bit of a counter twist. Both hands come down to the left, drop the head. And from here, we're gonna kind of play this in reverse into our standing split. So lifting that left leg back up, and then an option to take a revolved half moon if you want it. So the left hand can stay down, right hand to the lower back, or up towards the ceiling. And set that left foot down, soften yourself. If you want to take something like a squat, you're welcome to do that here. Or maybe you just want to take this gentle kind of like easy going sway side to side in your forward fold. Good. Make your way through your flow when you're ready. Breathing in to lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms. Find your flow. Good. And from your downward facing dog, extend your left leg up and back. Open up through the hip. If you like to flip your dog around, you could do that here. Good. If you have flipped your dog around, come on back. Good. And then we're going to take that left knee over to the right elbow and just hover for a second. Good. Inhale, left leg up and back. And then step it in between your hands. The right foot comes in just about halfway as well. Finding your uh, pyramid shape and looking for revolved triangle. Good, right hand stays down. Left hand to the low back or maybe reaches up. Another breath here. Good, and set that left hand down. Let's soften that left knee and then walk ourselves forward into standing split. Good, tap that right knee behind the left and slowly come on to sit down. Sit up nice and tall. Good, take your twist. Maybe the elbow hooks or maybe you're 
kind of hugging that left knee in with your right elbow. Good, just a few more breaths here. And bring yourself back through to the center and play it in reverse. Picking that right leg up. Good, and maybe this turns into your revolved half moon pose or maybe it stays as a standing leg lift. It's always your option. Good, just taking a few moments here, drawing the inner thighs towards each other. Yeah, you'll know when you're done. <laughs> When you are, set that right foot back down. And just give yourself a gentle wiggle. And see if you can bend the knees and wrap your index and middle fingers around your big toes. And maybe you begin to straighten the legs a little bit here. Bring those elbows out wide. And I think we're going to just do one more standing balance. <laughs> so from here, let's take your right hand onto just above your right knee on the thigh. I'm going to keep your left fingers around your left big toe and press into your right foot. And then think about beginning to lift that left foot up. <laughs> Maybe you come all the way up to standing or not. Maybe you get to standing and you extend a leg out. <laughs> or not. All right, just kind of playing around with this, seeing where you end up. There's really no like goal. <laughs> There's no destination. Um, it's just about just becoming familiar with um, your writing reflex, your balance. When you feel like you're done, go ahead and set that foot down, fold forward, let it go. <sighs> Good, and then keep your left foot down, wrap your index and middle fingers around your right big toe, left hand on the top of your right knee or thigh, and just playing around a little bit. This side might be very different. You know it is for me. So just take time. And maybe you get to the top, maybe not. Maybe you extend the leg, maybe not. And eventually go ahead and set that right foot back down, fold forward. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, take it back through your flow. And we're gonna chill right out now, <laughs> so extend that right leg up and back behind and then exhale and we're going to take a pigeon pose so you can bring your knee in between your hands if you like a traditional pigeon if that doesn't quite work for you lie down on your back yeah take your figure four shape <laughs> you're in your pigeon pose your traditional pigeon with the knee forward you might decide to stay lifted for a bit strengthening those mid and lower back muscles Good. Maybe you're even bending that left knee and reaching back for your left foot with one of your hands or not. <sighs> Good. Doing the thing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there always comes that time in pigeon where it's time to lay down. <laughs> you settle your head. Let your breath be whatever it is.
and just a thought that you might try to practice twisting in your pigeon if you're doing a traditional pigeon kind of lifting yourself up and then sliding your left arm underneath your right like threading the needle in your pigeon maybe that sounds horrible <laughs> you might take a block under your head to make it feel a little better Good. All right, three more big inhales and exhales. Mm. Mm, good. From here, lift yourself back up. We're just going to rock over onto the right hip and swing that left leg around. Throw it on your back, bring yourself back up to a seated position. And let's practice some kind of boating. <laughs> so maybe it's your little boat with your toes down, your hands on the backs of your thighs. Maybe it's a big boat and your arms and your legs are extended. Maybe it's like, you know, somewhere in between. <laughs> You're just thinking about finding a place for your limbs <laughs> that feels really good to you. Good. Might look completely different than you want it to or than you expect it to. Few more breaths here. Good, and we're gonna make our way back into the other side. So if you're in your boat and you wanna kind of flow through into a downward dog, you're welcome to do that. Of course, you're also welcome to just swing the right leg behind you and find your pigeon. You know, however much movement you feel like you need this evening. Yeah, if you take this on your back, just lie down. <laughs> Good. And perhaps you stay lifted for a while. And you'll know when it's time to settle yourself down and just go for it. <laughs> Get comfy. If you're in your pigeon and you want to thread the needle or twist, you're welcome to do that, sliding that right arm underneath the left. Maybe resting your head on your block. Good, three more breaths here. Good, and then take your time to come on out of this. If you're in your traditional pigeon, rocking over onto the left hip, swinging that right leg around. If you're on your back and you want to come up for just like one more second in a boat pose, you're welcome to do that. Um, but eventually we're all going to just find our backs. So taking as much time as you need or want in this boat type of thing. Good. Okay, maybe this is a high boat that turns into a low boat where you're kind of hovering your feet close to the floor or not. And maybe you're taking your boat and just pulling your knees in towards your chest and rolling onto your back. Good. But once you find your back, just let the floor hold you. 
And there are just about five minutes remaining in class. So if there are some twists that you would like to take or a shoulder stand that you would love to do or a bridge or a wheel <laughs> before your final pose and go for it, but maybe you need the Shavasana <laughs> like right away and go for it. Perfect. Hmm, doing what needs to be done, what you need to do for you. Hmm, wonderful. Wherever you end up, just letting yourself be at ease. Yeah, it's really the least we can do for ourselves <laughs> to carve out a few minutes in our day just for this. After all the movement, everything that we move ourselves through, every decision we have to make, how about a little bit of nothing? And maybe letting your breath become a little bit, um, a little bit longer. And your body just be heavy for a moment more. take some time to move around, move in small ways. Mm. And then you can move in some larger ways if you want to. 
And if you feel like just hanging out, you're certainly welcome to <laughs> remain in Shavasana with some clothes. But if you want to come to a seated position to close, then I guess now's the time. <laughs> and so making your way there. Good. And so you find your, um, as you find your seat, just take your hands down to the floor alongside you. Maybe it's your fingertips and just kind of press down into the floor and feel the crown of the head reaching up. Good, and then sweep the arms up and overhead. Reach the fingers up and feel your sitting bones pressing down. Okay, and then take your arms out to the sides and we're just gonna reach for that person and reach for that person. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of like pretend that we can touch each other. <laughs> Good. And then we'll take our hands and just bring it all back in here. And drop your head down towards your hands and your heart in reverence of your practice and each other. Oh, yay. Thanks for coming, everybody. It was so nice. And like pets were out in full force today. So I was just like, ooh, <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs>